Nation. It's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. There is so much juicy drama, ladies and gentlemen. There's a new game-breaking invisible glitch we're gonna have to get to. LD2K versus Ronnie2K. The drama between all the YouTubers. Big time wagers, guys. We have to get to all the... And we're gonna get to all of it. But first... You know why Louisiana food is the best food? Hey, the merch! Guys, look, look. Bow! We got hoodies now, man. If y'all don't get the... Hoodies. The link is in the description, the come up district. Wow. We even got the orange, the orange hoodies. You could be an employee, my guys. You don't want to be seen in this kind of merchandise. Well then, I don't want anything to do with you. Kidding. I love you all. Watch more of my videos. <laughs> For the first story of the day, it was announced that Ronnie2k was going to be participating in this year's NBA All-Star Celebrity Game! Tonight, we'll find out if he can shoot a basketball without a game pad wearing number 2K, Ronnie 2K! Damn, he get not one cheer. Think about what this weekend is like and, and all the events that are going on. And, and, and come in and, and, and work. And the guys that we have around as well, it's, it's a great, great environment to work in. Well, I mean, the Nets are one of the biggest surprises of the season. Well, that's wonderful. It was such a great game to watch, and how we how we doing right? Yes, got it. Come on, got it. Asia, don't let us do this. But this year, Ronnie2k has been training so that when he goes to the celebrity game, he could be shooting buckets. Is that Chris Brickley? Oh, nah. Ronnie, if you're training with Chris Brickley and you still put up bricks in the All-Star game, I'm gonna be so disappointed in you, my guy. But of course, it's the 2K community, so nothing comes without some drama, and some drama ensued on Twitter. Kendrick Perkins, the guy who averaged 2.2 points per game in the finals, in the NBA finals, yeah, that guy. He put out this post on Twitter. I can't wait for the All-Star Celebrity Game because I'm going to be watch Ronnie2K and see if he can actually play basketball since Mr. Ratings himself. I'm for damn show going to give him ass a rating. Wow, Perkins, great grammar. First of all, Mike Stauff is the guy who deals with the ratings. And if we're being honest, he almost always does it properly and correctly. So you just were a horrible NBA athlete. Don't come at me now. I'm not an athlete. I just sit here and tell it how it is. But of course, LD2K wanted to fire some shots while he was at it. He replied to Kendrick Perkins saying, I emoji, crying laughing emoji, thumbs up emoji, with the Wilt Chamberlain's Ronnie 2K zero points meme. This was for his prolific performance in the last year's celebrity game. Ronnie 2K replied on Twitter saying this. I'd usually mention this is the sign I'd hold up and the expression I'd give to you with your zero career minutes in the game, but I am surprised because I thought you'd learn from your idol and stop hating in 2020. Obviously, I was wrong, and you gotta get blocked again. What? Why don't you come at Kendrick? LD was just posting a good quality meme. Kendrick was taking shots. You should have went at him. Oh, he did go at Kendrick. Here we go. I was gonna mention the 124 games you had with zero points in your career, but it's 2020, and I'm playing in this game to honor the ones before us, the fans, and not to put someone I admire down. Ronnie's taking the high road. We've seen it all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kendrick Perkins replied with this post, wasn't a scorer, but I was this. Oh, you, sir, have you had Vortex before? Oh, hey, Vortex, this how are Vortex you, man? Beamstar. I'm doing... The bed was for sure... Com I don't have time for fans. I don't like fans. Get the fans out of here. Except you guys, of course. Uh, how is Perk still his kind of... Perk, you know, Perk attitude into this team in those few years? Well, you know, Perk, Perk is the, uh, in my opinion, he's the best one-on-one -on -one post defender in the league. He's, he's that good in the low post, and uh, you know, that gives him an added presence. He's also a very good help defender and screen roll defender. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, Boston really gift, gift wrapped him. Mm, Kobe! Those are some wise words from Kobe. Kendrick Perkins probably printed out the video and posted it on his wall. I know he has it bookmarked. Made my point. I admire the hell out of what you do, did for the game, and last week's tragedies are a reminder to build up our fellow man. That's all. I hope you come watch it in person. Ronnie, 
It's it's supposed to be funny. Why are we taking this so serious? Oh, man. Bro, I just want to see you hoop. I didn't say I was going to judge you in no particular way. I'm just going to give you a fair evaluation. Watch back the video. All love, though. I got a ticket for you waiting, and we'll call and hope I do good in your eyes. Not losing sleep, though, because it's not my career. Just a chance to honor everyone who's a fan of the game and who's played it, including you, those longer, longer with us. Ooh, guys. Ooh, ah. Man, it is so weird to say Ronnie take the high road. And look, guys, it's all patched up. Just messing with you, bro, but I'm still going to be watching. Huh? Guys, it should have been funny, but now it's so wholesome, it's not funny anymore. That's not right. Less wholesome, more funny. But then LD2K posted on Twitter that he got blocked. So for some reason, Ronnie packs things up with Kendrick Perkins and then blocked LD2K. I'm pretty sure he's just memeing with the block, but it's still kind of funny. For our... Hey guys, there's been a lot of big time wagers between big time content creators in the NBA 2K community, and I'm all for it. There needs to be more of this kind of stuff because I enjoy watching it. Um, things started off with two fellow big time clans in the 2K community, DF and XT. Joe Knows put out this tweet on Twitter saying, can DF and XT set up a clan series? Great entertainment for the community, great views for everyone involved. What's the issue? It's a win-win for all parties. I'll tell you why it's an issue, Joe Knows, because let's be honest, anytime you play in a high profile game, your reputation's on the line. Some people will rather maintain their reputation as a competitive player than just playing a game they know is gonna benefit everybody. That being said, I understand why people are hesitant. Because in the 2K community, you have one bad game and apparently you're ass to everybody. Nade was egging on the series on Twitter because he wanted to get involved. He posted this. Grinding or power can't guard d -Nell. They will look stupid in front of Thousand. That's why they'll never play. So everybody was pressuring Power to play in the game versus Nate X. And Power wasn't having it. And then some DMs got leaked and people had a field day. The DM goes, y'all know damn well I'm not playing Nade. He's wasting his time, lol. Now I can't verify the validity of this DM, but it looks real, can't verify that though. Nade X got a hold of this DM and posted on Twitter saying, lol, I know buddy keep running. And this is when people started to place a lot of pressure on power to play the game. Don't call yourself the best clan if you're scared to play competition. Don't run your mouth on stream calling yourself the best. This best that when you run and hide. I, I don't know if I suck at reading or Nade sucks at typing. One of the two is happening right now. Bandit posted this clip on Twitter of d playing grinding and winning the game. Nah, nah, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Don't play around with me now. I hear you talking about how comfortable you in your. Oh, Craig, this you? Craig! Craig! Oh my God, Craig! Craig! Grinding put out a post after that loss saying, Man, after thinking about it, I've realized I'm not living by my for the community motto. Never built my channel off this, and I don't thrive in these types of games, to be honest. But if y'all want to see it, let's do it. Nade, I'm live on caffeine. Pull up, no ducking. Win or lose, all good. Power then posted saying, do not associate me with the 2K community, which I think is a troll tweet on his Pretty Boy Fredo type, but I can't be sure. <laughs> the real story is a YouTuber is sending people to dislike and chasing someone around all day to play them in a video game. I can't imagine someone like Ticino chasing someone and telling them to dislike because they refuse to wager him. Shrug emoji. Followed up saying, but he changed, y'all, in quotations. Almost as if to say, Nadex has not changed one bit. He's the same toxic Nadex. This is the last time I'm talking about this, but I found this old clip I had to post. Before I was known, before I led one of the biggest clans in 2K, DF, I pulled up on Nade. He danced in front of my face and hopped off. He never pulled up again. 350K subs later, I'm being chased. He's calling Nadex a clout chaser. He's chasing all kinds of clouts. I've been watching too many Hodge Tone videos recently. <laughs> okay, we can't put the music in. Um, basically, it's a whole bunch of comments, and then here we go, Nate hops off, and then dances, and then runs away from the game. Basically calling Nate X a hypocrite. How could you call me uh, uh, scared to play over here on this side, but you did the same thing just a couple years ago? Mmm, it's getting juicy, fellas. Chasing and attacking people who want to be left alone so you can have your personal entertainment is what I like to call harassment. So ladies and gentlemen, all that to say, yes, I would love to see more wages between content creators set that stuff up and then link me the streams and or the videos. I'm watching them all. I love the juicy drama. For our next story of the day, 
LD2K posted one emoji on Twitter and it started a whole lot of conversations, fellas. It goes as follows. He dropped this little ear emoji. LD2K is always listening. And so a whole lot of content creators and 2K players alike decided to reply to this tweet with a whole bunch of stuff they would like to see implemented in 2K. Uh, Davis dropped a video and a whole bunch of content creators were replying, so let's look through some of the mentions. Forget an open world, in my opinion, even implementing stores into 2K is a waste of time. 2K is a grind heavy game. We want to get what we need, then play the game, not run from store to store like we're shopping in real life. I promise you nobody feels immersed into the neighborhood. Just my thoughts. <laughs> Joe Knows responded, that's it, we're taking that logo. <laughs> if y'all want an open world where you can spend virtual money on cars, planes, guns, but also play basketball, guess what? We have a game called GTA, go play that. Stop trying to ruin 2K21. First of all, Joe Knows, we could play basketball in GTA, and I haven't made a video on that. What the hell is going on here? I'm gonna have to investigate that, ladies and gentlemen. Agent Zero himself responded saying, proximity chat and an option to mute. Uh, Agent Zero, man, he's a prolific thinker, and he's very one of the most enlightened people in the 2K community. I take his opinion to heart, but that's just me. Okay, that's just me. Duke Dennis says, Visuals are important. It's all about a different experience from the year before so it doesn't feel like a repeat. And I didn't used to agree with that until this year where I feel like it's the same game even though it's not just because they use the same neighborhood. Yeah, they got different events, but the basic neighborhood is the same square as it was last year. So previously, I'd be like, don't waste time with that stuff. You know, focus your energy on areas that actually matter. But man, I feel it. It happened in 2K17 as well when they brought back the same parks from 2K16. We know how that was. We remember that for our... Wow, 2K, every year there seems to be a game-breaking glitch, and in February the 11th of 2020, we got the first game-breaking glitch of NBA 2K20. It's an invisible glitch, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, I was first notified of this in my mentions this morning. Uh, Kendrick put out this post on Twitter saying, Baluba, I bought some champion joggers and equip him, now my player is invisible, shake my head. So then I was like, huh, maybe that was like a one-time thing, but literally the next thing in my mentions was a video of somebody running around invisible because they bought some clothes in the store. Well, why don't you look at that? Seems like every year there seems to be a new invisible glitch, guys. And this year is no different. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to stay away from the park. I'm playing exclusively Pro-Am for the next couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you thought 2K was done updating NBA 2K20, rest assured, they'll be patching this. So I have no idea to the extent to which this is gonna explode, but if it was anything like 2K17 or previous years where there was a similar invisible glitch, it's gonna be brutal, guys. It's gonna be very, very brutal, especially if the guy that's dribbling is a playmaker. Good luck keeping up with him. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan 2K is not done taking, he's not really shots, he was just giving his opinion. It goes as follows. KCE Gamer posted this. Ronnie shares some thoughts on why Agent still doesn't have a logo. Couldn't record most of it, but he basically said, when we give someone a logo, it's like they're endorsing us and he isn't empowering the community in any way. Ah! Ronnie, how could you say that? Isn't empowering the community in any way. Man, that hurts. That really does hurt, guys. Truly, in my heart, I'm hurt. I, mean, I, was, I was sleeping last night, just I couldn't get it off my mind. I'm kidding. And I don't mean to beat this dead drum over and over again, because I really don't want a logo at this point. But don't say I don't empower the community in any way, because then I'd ask you the question, how does people singing for you in stream so you give them a logo empower the community in any way? So just keep it consistent. If I don't do it, then you got to apply the same standards everywhere. Maybe I just don't help them sell enough VC. I need to start helping them sell VC. I need my own creator code in this mother for our next story of the day man 21 savage is a huge fan of nba 2k did you guys know that i knew that because there's been stories of him wagering other rappers or playing in big time games for the last few years and he was furious at nba 2k the other day the story goes as follows 21 savage complaining about nba 2k 20 on instagram live well, why don't you look at that it's gay ass Man. Huh? Bad gang. Y'all need to fix the 2K. Fake ass. Man, y'all got muff. The niggas that y'all be geeking up on the game be weak as in real life, bro. They suck. They be trash. Y'all let these make these weak ass shots on their game, man. Fake it. Man, we want to break the game. Weak ass game. Then y'all let these get in these weak ass zone defenses. You can't do shit. Just standing there. No three in the key or nothing. Thank you so much, 21 Savage, for sharing your thoughts. 
I guess he was playing 5v5, and I don't play 5v5, so I don't know what that experience is like. But I remember I used to play a lot of 5v5. It was a brutal experience, which is why I stopped. I feel for you, 21 Savage. I'll let you know, though, the guy you want to hit up is Ronnie2k. He's actually responsible for everything that goes wrong in 2k. And why don't you look at that, guys? I'm empowering the community by giving people a forum in which they can file legitimate complaints about the game. Look how I'm empowering the community right now. Do you, you don't see this empowerment? Ah, uh, guys, you have to open your eyes. That's that's all it is, really. You, have, you haven't opened your eyes to what I've been doing for the community this whole time. Uh, 21 Savage actually put out a post a couple years ago saying, Lonely, I need a girlfriend who likes 2K and guns. <laughs> With a whole bunch of cry laughing emojis. For our next story of the day, it's really a non-story, but it's gonna make you feel better about how you might already be feeling. You might be feeling a little sad or miserable. You heard all these negative stories. Let's get some positive juice in the flow, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty is out of control. They dropped a patch today that was, and I'm not joking, 68 gigabytes. Trying to decide what files gotta go for this 68 gigabyte update. A good quality meme, ladies and gentlemen. Eight out of 10. 68 gigabytes? Dog, this update better come with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And look at this OBJ confused meme, ladies and gentlemen, look. <sighs> That's a good quality meme. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. And so if you got angry, you know, at the little seven gigabyte, 10 gigabyte updates we do at 2K, just know that Activision thought it was a good idea to drop a 68 gigabyte update for their people. <laughs> Unless you also play Call of Duty, and then this is also a negative story for you. I just don't play it anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news. Agent Beamstar here with the good quality Popeyes merch, ladies and gentlemen. All the merch link in the description. Go ahead, cop that. If you guys enjoy, drop a like. Look, a drama on the screen, gameplay video, meme video. Look, so many videos. You could pick any of these videos, man, or none of them. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.